evening news team. Tony, I just got back from watching The Hangover. That we did. That that new crazy ass raunchy comedy that everybody's talking about and mm -hmm. saying it's amazing. Yeah. And I have to agree. Amazing, amazing movie. Yeah. I uh, God, I have, just haven't had this much fun in a movie since like super bad. Laughing like uh, a madman the entire time. Kind, yeah, so. kinda. And yeah. I, luckily, I wasn't alone. Yeah. So I, didn't I think just everyone else so was awkward. too. So. Uh, and uh, God. We how 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 we love to laugh at people's misfortune because this movie, like the first time you see their hotel, just tore up. You know something, something, something amazing went down. Amazing and probably very wrong and illegal in probably most states, but uh, in either either way, we enjoyed every moment of it. Um, God, what to say? It's uh, kind of funny. It, it it almost seems like it's a, a tired storyline. I mean, like a bunch of guys going out. Bad things happen to them, and then ultimately, you know, things work out, whatever. But it, it, it didn't feel like an old story. It felt like it was like uh, it was done very well. It, it, you didn't you didn't think about that at all. I asked where this was going. I mean, you might you, you kind of yeah. You know what's going? It's one of those movies, but you still you still want to see what happens. Right. They still they still they still throw a lot of your plate and say, okay, let's figure out how this all happened. Cool. This is the guy who directed Old School. So it's, and it's very much in the vein of old school in that it's about a, a bunch of guys, like a, like a set of guys, a group of friends, just doing ridiculous drunken stuff, and you know, the roles are obviously, some roles, or some cast members from old school can be flipped into the hangover. Yeah, it's very true. You definitely have your, 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 the straight arrow, the guy that, you know, does no wrong, who's our, who's our groom. The guy who does the, everything wrong. The guy who does everything wrong is just like the bumbling fool. You definitely have the guy who uh, is already married and has a family and regrets it. And then you have just the, uh, another, uh, just compliment to um, the guy who's so much a straight arrow that... He's just kind of nerdy. Yeah. You know, he, everything's like, oh, i got to call my wife and stuff like that. So a lot of the characters from old school are definitely reminiscent to, or, or vice versa. Right. The characters hangover. from Hangover are reminiscent of the old school. So it's almost like you could take Vince Vaughn and Will Ferrell and, and uh, Luke Wilson and... And, um, and put them in this movie. But them again, in this movie. And but the cast they do have, amazing and Great cast. Uh, and they definitely feel like they're, they are buddies. Like, yeah. You kind of believe that they do hang out for... You, uh, while the characters might be might be dysfunctional, you see why they're all in the movie. You see why they're all friends. Uh, one standout, I guess, character, Zach Galifianakis, uh, comedian. Seen his stuff online. I'm glad you said that name because I probably you probably kill it. Yeah. Probably kill it. So, uh, so I'm a Comedy Central, super funny guy in this movie. Equally funny. He plays the he basically plays this 35, 30 plus year old man child who is obviously. Manchild is, is definitely a good word you'll laugh for at, him. You'll laugh at all the ridiculous stuff that yeah. he hasn't, has and has not done, uh, which is very reminiscent of Will Ferrell's character. Mm -hmm. he's, he's just, I mean, he's bent. He's yeah, this character, this, this yeah. character is definitely a little bit more uh, uh, borderline creepy, but you kind of love him at the and, same time. And you'll time. laugh. You're just laughing at all He kind of walks a very, uh, a very thin line between and creepy and, 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 and just kind of... You just want to kind of give him a hug. He walks it well, and in the end, you want to give the guy a hug. Yeah. Something, something I, I, I told Tony that was striking about this movie, and it's weird to say about a, just a raunch comedy, is the cinematography made me... It did a good job of keeping the three guys in front, three main guys you see 80% of the movie of, one guy you don't see for the rest of it. Most of it, yeah. But uh, it does a good job of keeping you, keeping you... Keeping your eye on these three guys, and they're always in shot together, and it keeps... These guys a team, and you like them, and you believe it. And another fun thing that was about, interesting about the mo the uh, intro of this movie was that they it starts off very you know idyllic, preparing for a wedding. It's all going to be very good. The it shows the intro of the wedding being prepared, and then it shows still shots of Vegas, and with the like dark hip hop they use makes it definitely makes Vegas a very foreboding place in this movie. You, you've got the sense that something really bad is about to happen, and, and something definitely bad does happen to to our, our cast of guys but um, I, I I see where, where Mike uh, made that observation but I think it's it's kind of probably the the filmmakers choice to do that because uh, a lot of us do kind of look at Vegas as kind of like this big adult playground where anything can happen this dangerous this dangerous damn dangerous toys yes yeah, it, it's it's definitely like finding a, a you know a BB gun and and, and playing around with it, yeah, it's fun to, to play and shoot, but I mean, it's definitely a, a dangerous 
uh, toy that you're, you're playing with. And I think the, the filmmakers kind of wanted to do that. It's like, yeah, these guys are going to have fun, but things bad things can happen in, in Sin City. And we kind, of, we kind of expect it to, and obviously, you know, we... But what, the wonderful thing about Vegas is that no matter what happens, uh, Jeffrey Tambor, uh, Arrested Development alumni in this movie... You know, states the states the older dogs the old, that we all yeah. we all hold near and dear to our hearts. What happens in Vegas stays, stays in Vegas, in Vegas. Yeah. and God, what happened in Vegas should stay in Vegas for these guys. Uh, with the exception of this movie, everything that happened in Vegas, I'm glad that did not stay in Vegas because it made for for a great damn movie. good entertaining a uh, uh, film. Um, just and uh, like as another thing is, it's kind of interesting. I was telling Tony, it's also interesting to see just kind of how far we've gone is in terms of raunch comedy. Especially Raj Comedy, just how well, what, how far we can push the boundaries of what we can show in a, like a theater and still get rated R. And it definitely wasn't like we were watching any kind of soft core porn or anything on the screen. But they were definitely, definitely they, got, they, they took some liberties that that uh, I, I think probably even a, a few years ago probably wouldn't netted like, a, get, like an NC-17. Yeah, so, so there he there goes. He goes. And so um, I just lost the train of thought. Yeah, uh, 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 gets, but so. Either way, uh, great movie. I, are we yeah. going to scale this one? Uh, yeah, we're going to scale this one. If, for those who weren't here for our last review, we, we steal from the website, and here's the review scale. It's better than sex, full price, matinee, rental, some old bullshit. And skip it. Just and skip it. Don't go, don't go see it. You know, not worth your time. Don't waste your time, exactly. But this is a very, very emphatic, highly recommended full price for me. Go grab a bunch of dudes. It's not definitely not a date flick. It'd be a little weird. A little weird. I mean, depends I on your audience. Depends on your audience. It depends on also, you know, the person that you're going to take to the date. You, you definitely have to gauge the sense of humor factor. But so. definitely take take your dude friends. I'm going to go. I'm yeah. going to go see it again. Yeah. Just to let you know. Um, yeah. I wish I wish I would have gone with one of my dude friends, um, but uh, I went with uh, this guy here. So yeah. But anyways. <laughs> Um, so, <laughs> you get a, uh, you a get very a, emphatic, ne I, nearly, it's like a high A, yeah. full price, go see it. I, I give it a, a full price as well, definitely go see it, grab some, some, some of your guy friends, go out there, um, have a few laughs, and, uh, uh, and definitely just enjoy the film, um, it's, it's definitely entertaining. Additionally, uh, additionally, we went to go see this movie at the Garden Walk, uh, Cinema Fusion. Cinema Fusion. Over 21 and older theater, I mean, not... You can get to the theater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Twenty-one dollar theater uh, segment of the theater. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. For those of you who haven't gone, Cinema Fusion's brand new uh, theater that was built over at the, the Garden Walk. Mm -hmm. um, there, uh, they do have regular theaters that you can go buy tickets for. They have that Anaheim IMAX. Go to. The IMAX. Uh, you don't have to drive all the way to Irvine or Hollywood <laughs> to go see it, uh, which is a big plus in my book. And um, the but they do have the twenty-one up viewings, which is basically just. Uh, a, a theater just like anything else, but um, uh, no one under twenty one gets in. And so. it's 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 leather seats, leather lo leather lo like like lazy boy seats, yeah. like like they're love seats. There's two uh, in a set, and two set, so you can sit down if you are on a date. Um, you can kind of cozy up, and uh, if you aren't on a date, like we weren't, um, there is an armrest that goes between two dudes. I don't like that. So at all. Um, yeah, lots of uh, lots of elbow room, like. I don't know, like that much. Yeah, like two elbows. You could you, on on like, my left side. I could put my arm down and have room for the next like, guy. Like that. Arm down. Yeah. Um, so uh, and the theater was just nice. Like they, the theater, the screen itself is covered with like a, a curtain that kind of raised. You kind of got like an old theater kind of feeling. To alcohol it. too. Twenty one up. Alcohol. Alcohol. A lack of hall, baby. Yeah. Yeah. There's like a, a gorgeous kind of waiting area. Kick ass uh, wristband. Yeah. I don't know where mine is. I took mine off already, but. There's a waiting area. You can get beer, um, just kind of alcohols, popcorn, candy, whatever. They have wine being chilled there, so you want to have a glass of wine beforehand. Yeah, any popcorn. There so you go. Whatever. So and uh, yeah, you do have the wristbands. So sorry guys, no theater You're hopping, hopping. but uh, definitely worth it. So check out Cinema Fusion. Check out um, the Hangover. Also, they do. Uh, I'm not. Scratching, Validate your parking. I'm not scratching my my butt, but they do do. Uh, Classic Just movies. Classic movies. Look at that. Captain Hunting Roof, North by Northwest. Most of you guys are going, I've never heard of these movies ever. <laughs> but some of you some, may know. Some of you might have heard of Some Like It Hot. Yeah. Some of you also may have heard of a, a little tiny film I like to call The Godfather. It's going to be playing there June, June 24th. 24th yeah. And I think on July 24th or 25th, they're doing Evil Dead 2. I don't know about you, but... We can show our last probably going to go see it. Probably. 
Probably going to go see them just to see them on the big screen. Yeah. But uh, definitely go see The Hangover. Uh, full I mean, price. Full price. Go see it. Just do, just do it. 